Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Today, I'd like to share from the letter of Romans, chapter 6, verse 15 to 23. And if you can, I want to encourage you to read this passage with me. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? By no means. Don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey. Whether you are slaves to sin, which leads to death, or to obedience, which leads to righteousness. But thanks be to God that though you used to be slaves to sin, you have come to obey from your heart the pattern of teaching that has now claimed your allegiance. You have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. I am using an example from everyday life because of your human limitations. Just as you used to offer yourselves as slaves to impurity and to ever-increasing wickedness, so now offer yourselves as slaves to righteousness leading to holiness. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness. What benefit did you reap at that time from the things you are now ashamed of? Those things result in death. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness, and the result is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. This passage makes it very clear that we used to be slaves of sin before we accepted Christ as our master. In other words, we used to speak and act according to our sinful desires, which would cause us to die forever. However, the Word of God makes it clear that God saved us from this slave to sin status through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. He made a way for us to be free from our sin, which changed our status from slaves to sin to slaves to righteousness. Yes, we belong to Christ now. He is our master. And Paul tells us what the life of slave to righteousness looks like through today's passage, which refers to all of us who have accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior. First of all, we are thankful for everything God did for us. Yes, this is the heart attitude that we must have in our everyday life. Secondly, we are called to pursue holy living. But we all know it's so difficult because we still fall into temptation of sins and we follow sinful desires. We are imperfect. And this is why we must repent daily. Without true repentance, it is impossible to pursue holy living. Repentance is not just a one-time event or simply telling God about the things that we are sorry. But repentance is turning to God daily through our prayers and doing our best to pursue a holy living in every part of our lives. If you have some time today, let us read this passage one more time and have a time of reflection. Let us ask these questions to ourselves. Do I have a thankful and repentant heart today? What have I been doing to pursue holy living lately? What are some things that need to be reoriented in my spiritual life? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for saving us. Lord, as we remember your grace today, we repent from our sins. 
Lord, we turn to you as we belong to you. Lord, give us humility, patience, and strong willpower to follow the footsteps of Jesus today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.